the chain hoist. It helps lift heavy loads. It's got two lengths of chain, one that's pulled by hand and the other that lifts the load. The force exerted by pulling the hand chain down 30 chain links gets multiplied into lifting the load with 30 times more force, as it takes the load one link higher. That's what the chain hoist does. It concentrates the force by transforming a small effort exerted over a long distance into a huge force exerted over a short distance. But how does it work? The chain hoist, the hand chain, cog, drive shaft, gears, load chain sprocket, load chain. The entire hoist unit gets hooked above the weight to be lifted. The load chain is attached to the weight. When the hand chain is pulled, it turns the cog. The cog then turns the drive shaft, which turns the gears, which turns the load chain sprocket, which lifts the load chain and the load with 30 times more force than was pulled. To find out how those gears concentrate the force and do some heavy lifting, we've got to take it apart. The hand chain links fit into seven specially designed slots in the cog. As the hand chain is pulled, it turns the cog. The cog first screws tight to the friction plate, which is attached to a ratchet wheel. So as the cog, plate and wheel turn together, a catch clicks onto the teeth of the ratchet wheel, preventing the cog from slipping backwards under the weight of the load. And the chain hoist is only getting started. With each transfer of force from gear to gear, the force from the hand chain gets concentrated more and more. The cog is also attached to the drive shaft. As the cog turns, it also turns the shaft. At the other end of the shaft is a small gear with five teeth. As that gear turns with the drive shaft, the force applied to the cog by the hand chain has already started to increase. So far, it's been multiplied by a ratio of 7 to 5, which means one force on seven chain links goes to five teeth on the gear. The small gear is now turning with more force, which puts stress on the teeth of the gear. To decrease the stress there, that gear turns two identical gear wheels at the same time. That way, the stress of the gear's force is distributed across two teeth instead of one. So the small gear turns the 18 teeth on each of those identical gear wheels. These gears have a small four-tooth axle on the other side, essentially another small gear which will in turn multiply the force there by a ratio of 18 to 4. And that's not all. Those smallest gears turn yet another larger gear which has 19 teeth. Those teeth concentrate all their force on the few links of the lift chain that fit into the last sprocket. Thanks to all those gears, the force from the hand chain has been concentrated again and again until it's been multiplied 30 times. The chain hoist, it's amazingly simple. With nothing more than a couple of chains and some gear wheels, it takes a small effort exerted over a long distance and concentrates it into a big force, able to lift heavy objects bit by bit. Now that is powerful. Next on how does it work, the flexible rotary power tool. To transmit movement through a flexible cable, it has to be rigid and flexible at the same time. It's secret weapon.